Hey everybody, hi and welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, I'll be summarizing some of the blogs and articles that I have read over the internet on GeoHash and how uh, engineers apply this concept to essentially do location search in DynamoDB. The concept is phenomenal. When I read about it, when I understood this, I was like, that's amazing. And I want to rather show you in uh, these concepts in the slides. So let me share my screen and we can go um, with the slides. So first I'll start describing the definition of what GeoHash is and then show you some nice example. A GeoHash is a geocoding system invented by Gustavio that allows you to know where, uh, that allows you to know what area on the map a user is within. The user could be anywhere in the area. They are not necessarily in the center of the area. Uh, this is useful. Uh, this is useful as latitude and longitude only uh, presents a, a single point on a map, whereas a geohash describes a fixed area. Uh, the concept is uh, phenomenal because uh, I, I'll explain you. So consider the simple diagram that I built for you. Uh, again, consider this as an earth, right? So what you do is you essentially partition the earth into grids. So you have three rows and three columns. Then if you observe row zero column one that is this one right here where i'm circling it's further divided into the grids right so if i ask you what is the location of the red dot you will say the location is row zero column one if you observe row zero column one and then here i have a row one and then the column one this is the location of that red dot this is the same concept that applies uh, on the uh, on the geo hash so let me show you a very nice example um, uh, hopefully that would make sense what I'm saying. So I'm gonna unshare my PPT and I'm gonna share back my slides. So let me again zoom out uh, hopefully. So what you see is uh, hopefully this loads up. Uh, so uh, let me let me refresh this. Uh, hopefully I can see a better view here. Okay, so you see the map, right? So this map is broken down into grids, right? For example, if I go to Argentina, uh, Argentina right? Take a look at the number 69. When I zoom in into 69, the Argentina block is further divided into um, grids. So observe carefully. So what happened is now you have 69A, 69B, 69C. Observe these carefully, right? Again, there's a small lag, but hopefully you got the concept. So now if I go to, for example, let's say this place, 69.3 here, right? I can zoom in and then further that 69.3 will be divided into sub blocks. For example, 69.3a, 69.3b. So you see what I'm saying? That's basically the concept. Now I'll uh, show my slides again. And um, yeah, so that is sort of the concept here. So every lat and long, essentially the geo, geo, geo hash, basically the first number, if you just say nine, it represents an area on a map. And of course, by specifying more character, you're going more specific, okay? So here is a, an amazing concept again I want to show you. So for example, consider the first image that is Earth. Uh, put, let's say we put the Earth on a cube, right? So now the face A, I'll try to show you. So this face A, um, so if you observe each cell has four child cell. In this example, cell A has four children, one, two, three, and four. So this has four children, right? One, two, three, four, right? Now, if you observe cell two could be further broken down into four cells, right? 21, 22, 23, 24, right? Observe carefully, right? Now cell 22 is broken down into further um, grids, right? And then there we have a dot. So if I had to ask you, what is the location of this? I can say, I am in the, I am in the cell A, right? So cell A over here, observe. Then uh, I am in the, uh, this one that is two. Inside that I'm in the, in the, in the location two. So here you have A2. Then you have um, two, four, right? The uh, the exact path, right? So I hope this makes sense a little bit on um, the just the concept of the you know grids, right? How 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 they essentially divide into grids and then uh, get the appropriate location of a, the red dot. This is again um, taken from an Amazon post, right? So. Um, Again, why this is important and what are the advantages of the geohashing, right? Well, A, uh, you the, the user doesn't have to give a pinpoint location. So you only give like, um, uh, so, so based on that, you can say the user is in this vicinity or the area, right? So that, that's great, right? Um, then again, I have one more example. So you can also determine proximity with this, for example, we can use uh, we can we can also use this to know when two users are closer to each other. Let's consider two users shown in the diagram below represented by a nine nine digit geohash. 
um, usually nine digit means they are somewhere within 16 um, square feet, right? So observe this one and this one, and I'll zoom in uh, if possible. So they start with 9Q8, 9Q8. So I know that these two people are in the same vicinity by the first initial character. So hopefully the concept is uh, making sense now, right? Now I did show you the, 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 the interactive map, right? So now let's see how they applied this concept on DynamoDB. It's, it's just amazing. When I, when I was understanding these concepts, I was like, wow, that's amazing. So um, what they do is basically given a lat and long, you will convert that into a geo hash. Now say you wanna uh, locate this particular user, right? So see what they did. These engineers did it very, very smartly in DynamoDB. So what they did is basically you will take the first six character. So one, two, three, four, five, six, up to this point, right? So this will become your partition key, right? And these values, now I can simply run a, a, a between query in DynamoDB, I can say, uh, go to this partition. So this is the partition where you will have multiple values, right? And then I can say, give me the, give me essentially data uh, within like A or B. So I can do a range query, a between query, and I can grab similar items. Absolutely phenomenal way of uh, searching item pretty fast using hash, right? So again, once again, for instance, if you uh, if your geo hash is six zero nine three five a long number, the hash key will be six zero nine three five two. So the first six becomes the primary key. Uh, again, they have a similar example for this number. The hash key becomes this, right? So observe carefully. A longer hash key means you will potentially have to call more query result, right? Because um, you know uh, that definitely makes sense. So for here, you have the length as six. So here, I was able to fetch at a pretty faster rate. Uh, the more the length, you have to maybe do more queries, but which is still pretty fast because you're using a sort key to retrieve the data. So you know which partition the data is in, and then you're running a simple between query, right? So it is it is fast. It's, it's a very fascinating way how they have modeled this in DynamoDB. So again, I was really, really amazed to see this, okay? So uh, I, I do wanna show one more thing. Uh, so I'll share my screen. Uh, let me disconnect this one and share this one. So I came up on a video by, by James uh, where he shows uh, where he shows an example of um, searching and it's super fast. So if you observe. Now I've built a small phone find. So here basically if you observe as he's moving his pointer, it is querying DynamoDB. It's basically computing the lat and the long. Once you know the latitude and the longitude, it converts into a geo hash. And from the geo hash, the first six digit becomes the primary key. And then he's running a sort key and saying, give me between A and B. So phenomenal way. Starbucks see, in a given region, as you can see in New York. Uh, see, so basically what it did uh, is, you know the partition, then you can simply perform a sort uh, on, the, on, on, the, uh, on, the, on, on the on the on the column, right? So observe somewhere here, and again, uh, I guess I, I am a little ahead here. Okay, so I'll try to zoom in. Again, I'll leave all the resources. So observe here. So given a latitude longitude, they can, uh, you know, they compute a hash, and then they know which particular pri uh, partition it is, and then they can run, uh, for example, like this, right? You can say, uh, observe this. So give me data for partition 609.352 and then run a between query where uh, give me all the you know Starbucks location between this and this, right? So amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I loved it. The concept itself is phenomenal. I couldn't even think like, you know, uh, like you could even do that. Like when I used to like, uh, you know, uh, like MongoDB and Elasticsearch, they all have like native um, geo right searches right you could define as a geo point but uh, when I saw and understood this concept in Dynamo I was I was like this is amazing right so this is the concept um, of a geo hash and I do I, I do hope you have enjoyed and I do hope at least the concept part was clear these are all my references where I have been reading articles and blogs and again I'll leave all the resources in the description but again a very fantastic way to perform geo searches in DynamoDB. Uh, I, I, I really loved it. So basically breaking down items into grids and then essentially, uh, you know, then you know the partition key, the first six letter, and then you, uh, it's amazing, amazing. 
All right, that's all I have for this video. I'll leave the slides. And on every single slide I have listed uh, from where I have taken this one. So for this one is taken from geohashing article by author uh, William Hill, right? These are taken from Amazon. Uh, Amazon has always uh, been doing a great job at documentation blogs. So I've been reading all the stuff and I hope you found value on this content. Um, next video, I'll try to do a lab and show you. But uh, um, again, James has done a lab, I guess in Node. I wanna do this in Python. So that way uh, the concepts are much more clearer, right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the concept of Geohash. And if you did, please make sure to share the video and share this with your colleague. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Keep, uh, keep smiling and stay safe, guys, okay?